Hello and welcome to The Winning Post. I'm Mohit Lalvani to bring you all the horse racing action from India. The Derby is behind us. So too is the Asian Racing Conference. But that doesn't mean it's ended because Champions Day was next on the 14th of February. It was hearts and horses all the way to the Mahalakshmi Racecourse. Though it was a windy evening, the racecourse was crowded with people who came to celebrate Valentine's Day along with Champions Day at the races. Three exciting races, Grade 2 and Grade 3. Mr. Bairam Gigi Boy has been an owner for several decades and a past committee member. He's presently a member of the Board of Appeal. His company has been sponsoring the running of the Eclipse Stakes of India, one of India's most traditional races. The Bairam Chichi Boy Eclipse Stakes of India Grade 2 race is considered the Mumbai season's topmost race open to horses above the classic age which had five running over the 2000 meter trip for a total stake money of 2 million rupees. Basar, one of the all-time greats and the highest stakes earner on the Indian turf, had shed his 11 pounds since his last run on Oaks Day. He did have to work hard on that occasion to get past Booker Jones. Saddled by Malaysia Naredu, he was ridden by his son Yash. The field also included Shivalik Shahs, a tough and consistent galloper whose best races have come from the front. Each time he found Kwasar too strong and trained by Kuchi Kathrak and ridden by Suraj Naredu, it wouldn't be surprising if he in fact adopted a change of tactics. Basie Shroff saddled the unicorn and put on Nikhil Parmar. A consistent and upcoming stayer went down narrowly to Rodeo over 2,800 meters in the Bike La Club Cup last time out, but has been progressing up in the handicaps. Receiving a lot of weight from Kwasar, he was out handicapped but couldn't be counted out. They are off and racing for the Bairam Gigi Boy Eclipse Takes of India Grade 2, losing about 4 5 lengths of the start. Okavango and Remember Me. And as they settle down to race, the unicorn darts to the front about five lengths in front of Kwasa sitting in second position. A gap about two lengths for the back, the Shivalik Shahs and bridging up the gap is Remember Me along with Okavango on the outside. Past the 1,600 meter marker, it's the unicorn well clear about six, seven lengths in front of Kwasa in second position. Two lengths for the back, there's Remember Me going ahead of Shivalik Shahs on the inside race with the two and a half behind is Okavango in the rear. We've just crossed the 1400 meter marker now, the unicorn maintaining about six lengths over Quasa in second position, a length and a half for the back is Remember Me. Now the two lengths for the back as they pass the 1200 meter marker is Shivalik Shah's second last, last to fall, Okavango. Galloping towards the 1000 meter marker, the unicorn still about seven lengths in front of Quasa in second position, a length and a half for the back there is Remember Me as they pass the 1000, two lengths for the back there is Shivalik Shah's and about three lengths of drift is Okavango, it's over to Deepak. With uh, two quarters remaining in this Bairam Gigi Jiboy Eclipse Stakes of India, it's uh, the unicorn bowling along in front, three and a half, four lengths ahead of uh, Quasar all the time in second spot. It's a run for the 800. Remember me in turn, another length and a half uh, behind uh, Shivali Shah. He's been pushed to make a forward move. They're now at the 600 meter marker. Far away there is Okavango as the head turns for home. Round the turn and into the street, the unicorn comes in on first, is about three and a half lengths ahead. Kwasa is now inching his way closer on the outside of the two and a half, three lengths behind is Shibali Shah. But the unicorn is still kicking on, a length and a quarter in front of Kwasa is the one uh, trying to make a forward move on the near side. Four behind is Shibali Shah, but the unicorn is still about three quarters of a length ahead. Quasa is on the near side, it's a Quasa on the near side, Hansen Eels now half in front of uh, the Unicorn, but uh, Quasa makes it in the Eclipse Stakes of India from the Unicorn, Shivali Shah's third ahead of Remember Me. Quasa was happy to track the fast pace. Yash Naredu asked him for his effort at the top of the straight and he challenged the Unicorn to go past him after finding his best galloping legs. At the end, it was over two lengths and an extremely impressive victory, even if in two minutes, two and some change. Do you want me to speak for about Kausar? Actually, Kausar speaks for himself with his record number of wins, 16th win today. It's a dream to have a, a, train a horse like him, for any professional to have a horse like Kausar, or owner or breeder to have Kausar in their yard. And 
he's an exceptional horse who has done nothing wrong so far and he's proved himself again and again. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed and hoping for the 6th of March in the Indian Innovation Cup. And I just hope he travels well and uh, he shows his class there too. And it will be, I guess, a record if he wins the second time out. Today's race, of course, uh, he was carrying 10 kilos more than the horse who finished second. Uh, definitely in the long distance race, the weight does make a difference. And he's a great horse, he never gives up, though he fights till the end and he gives his best. That's the plus point of him. He's now won six on the trot, taking his career victories to 16 from 21 starts. His grass earnings have soared to over 6 crore rupees, maintaining his status as the richest equine millionaire in the history of the sport in India. They are off and racing for the Bairam Gigi Boy Eclipse Takes of India Grade 2, losing about 4-5 lengths of the start, Okavango and Remember Me. And as they settle down to race, the Unicorn darts to the front, about 5 lengths in front of Kwasa, sitting in second position. A gap about 2 lengths for the back, there's Shivalik Shahs and bridging up the gap is Remember Me along with Okavango on the outside. Past the 1,600 meter marker, it's the Unicorn, well clear, about 6-7 lengths in front of Kwasa in second position. Two lengths for the back test. Remember me going ahead of Shivalik Shahs on the inside. Reason of the two and a half behind is Okavango in the rear. We've just crossed the 1400 meter marker now. The Unicorn maintaining about six lengths over Kwasa in second position. A length and a half for the back is Remember me. Another two lengths for the back as they pass the 1200 meter marker is Shivalik Shahs. Second last, last to fall, Okavango. Galloping towards the 1000 meter marker, the Unicorn still about 7 lengths in front of Kwasa in second position. A length and a half for the back test, remember me as they pass the 1000. Two lengths for the back test, Shivalik Shahs and about 3 lengths adrift is Okavango. It's over to Deepak. With uh, two quarters remaining in this Bairam Jijiji Boy Eclipse Takes of India, it's uh, the Unicorn bowling along in front, 3 and a half, 4 lengths ahead for Kwasa all the time in second spot at the run far. The 800, remember me in turn, of the length and a half behind Shivali Shah has been pushed to make a forward move. They're now at the 600 meter marker. Far away there is Okavango as the hedge turns for home. Round turn and into the street, the Unicorn comes in on first, is about three and a half lengths ahead. Pakwasa is now inching his way closer on the outside of the two and a half, three lengths behind is Shivali Shah. But the Unicorn is still kicking on. A length and a quarter in front of uh, Kwasa is the one uh, trying to make a forward move on the near side. Four behind is Shivalik Shah. But the Unicorn is still about three quarters of a length ahead. Kwasa is on the near side. It's a Kwasa on the near side. Hansen Eels now half in front of uh, the Unicorn. But uh, Kwasa makes it in the Eclipse Takes of India from the Unicorn. Shivalik Shah's third ahead of Remember Me. Well, it's time for a short break here on Winning Post. We'll come back. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the winning post. Now next up was the RN Kanga. This, the lead up to the Super Mile. The RN Kanga Gold Trophy, a grade 3 race, is the lead up to the Super Mile. Named after the late RN Kanga, a past chairman of the RWITC, RN Kanga was also a committee member for more than three decades and a steward of the club for several years. He was also a racehorse owner and a breeder. This race, for Indian horses 4 years old Nova, over the 1600 meter trip, had 9 horses enter the parade ring for the 1.5 million rupee stake. Apache from the Hazara Stud Farm, trained by Basie Shroff and ridden by Pete Trevor, would be saddled in the silks of Kishore Dingra. Apache was a horse who had hit his best form and couldn't be counted out despite the quality of the field. Shivalik Storm who had been pretty consistent most of the season with three runs so far, was better off on the terms after going down to Your Royal Majesty last time out. Sided by C.D. Cartwright and ridden by Suraj Naredu, Shivalik Storm had his share of supporters in the parade ring. Most expected Booker Jones to win this, 
as he had made Quasar pull out all the stops last time out over the 2000 meter trip. The drop to 1600 meters, a trip that he's won over in the past, had him close as the firm favorite. Trained by Atole and ridden by Sandesh, he did look the part in the parade ring. The Royal Majesty was another who came in with a good chance here from the Pacey Shop stable. A remarkably tough and consistent colt had got 5 kilos when narrowly beating Shivalik Storm last time out and was worse off on the scale. Barakas was given a lung opener last time out after a long layoff. Much more at home over this sort of trip, he made a good impression in a mock race a week ago and although had to find a bit on official figures, he was capable of springing a surprise at this low weight. Under orders and away they go for the RN Kanga Gold Trophy Grade 3. And on settling down, it's Apache in the center just showing out there from Congressional Your Royal Majesty fighting for his head. Then there's Shivalik Storm. Barakas comes in next. Then there's Booker Jones upon the outside. Lorita then comes Mountbatten and the Big Bull as they go towards the 1200 meters. Apache is the leader from Shivalik Storm. Tracking on the outside is Barakas. Then there's Booker Jones in close attendance. Up on the outside is Ro Your Royal Majesty, then comes Lorita, followed by Congressional, second last Mountbatten, about length away there, still in the rear, the Big Bull as they cross the 1000. They're going at a decent pace, Apache leading this field by about three quarters from Shivalik Storm, Barakas is in third, then there's Booker Jones, then comes Your Royal Majesty being tracked on the outside by Lorita, a further two lengths away there's Congressional, followed by Mountbatten, and about a length away is the big bull as they start negotiating the curve at the 600. Apache is the leader by about three quarters from Shivalik Storm. Barakas on the outside, Brooker Jones on the inner rail. Then there is Your Royal Majesty, Congressional Lorita, Mountbatten and in the rear big bull. Inside the last 400 meters, Apache is still holding on by about three quarter lengths from Barakas on the outside. In the center there is Shivalik Storm on the inner rails is Brooker Jones. But as they go into the last 200 meters and Sapache is still holding on by about two lengths now from uh, Shivalik Storm and on the inside Drucker Jones, then there's Barakas going inside the last 100 meters, then Apache literally making the start to finish affair. Apache is the winner from uh, Brooker Jones and there is uh, Your Royal Majesty Shivalik Storm, Barakas, Lorita, Mountbatten. I think the race went really well for him. Um, he was able to go to the front. He slowed it down a bit and uh, everything went well for him and I think he ran a great, great race. When he jumped out after first for long, I thought that uh, things were going his, his way. So, Well, I hope uh, he gets an invitation to the Super Mile. Pacey Shroff trained Apache ridden by Trevor gallops strongly to prove that he just might be the best miler in the country at this point in time. He's hit his best form and it's onward to Chennai to the Super Mile for him. Under orders and away they go for the RN Kanga Gold Trophy Grade 3. And on settling down, it's Apache in the center just showing out there from Congressional Your Royal Majesty fighting for his head. Then there's Shivalik Storm. Barakas comes in next. Then there's Booker Jones upon the outside. Lorita then comes Mountbatten and the Big Bull as they go towards the 1200 meters. Apache is the leader from Shivalik Storm. Tracking on the outside is Barakas. Then there's Booker Jones in close attendance. Up on the outside is Your Royal Majesty, then comes Lorita, followed by Congressional, second last Mountbatten, about length away there, still in the rear, the Big Bull as they cross the 1000. They're going at a decent pace, Apache leading this field by about three quarters from Shivalik Storm, Barakas is in third, then there's Booker Jones, then comes Your Royal Majesty being tracked on the outside by Lorita, a further two lengths away there's Congressional, followed by Mountbatten, and about a length away is the Big Bull as they start negotiating the curve at the 600. Apache is the leader by about three quarters from Shivalik Storm. Barakas on the outside, Brooker Jones on the inner rail. Then there is Your Royal Majesty, Congressional Lorita, Mountbatten and in the rear Big Bull. Inside the last 400 meters, Apache still holding on by about three quarter lengths from Barakas on the outside. In the center there is Shivalik Storm. On the inner rails is Brooker Jones. But as they go into the last 200 meters and Sapache is still holding on by about two lengths now from uh, Shivalik Storm and on the inside Brooker Jones, then there's Barakas going inside the last 100 meters, then Apache literally making the start to finish affair. Apache is the winner from uh, Brooker Jones, then there is uh, Your Royal Majesty Shivalik Storm, Barakas, Lorita, Mountbatten. We'll take a short break and when we come back, it's time for us to catch up with the lead up to the Sprinters Cup. It is the main one, the Dr. SC Jain Sprinters Championship.
And back on the winning post, let's move right along. The Sprinters' Championship, the Dr. SCJ and Sprinters' Championship. Great to race over 1,200 meters. That's up next. Named after the longest governing chairman of the RWITC, Dr. Sashi Jain, this has always been a race that has attracted the very best from Western India. Dr. Shashi Jain held the position of chairman of the RWITC for a record number of 13 years from 1978 all the way up to 1988 and then again from 89 to 91 and in 1995-96. He was re-elected to the committee in December 2006 after a break of 10 years. It is indeed a matter of great pride and I am very grateful to RWITC to name a race after me. Although I must say that I have contributed a great deal during my years as chairman, but even then I am very grateful to RWITC for naming a race after me. Nine horses entered the parade ring for the total stakes of 2 million over the 1200 meter trip. Adam, better known as a 1400 meter horse, couldn't be counted out and had Trevor on his back in the Dr. Vijay Malia silks. Six victories from nine starts and possibly in need of the run last time out when a close fought to Apache, the form was looking strong for him as he came into this one. He would however have to tackle Dancing Prances, considered by most to be the best sprinter in India. Yet to win a Sprinter's Cup, he had proved his class when winning emphatically over this course and distance last time out. Trained by Altaf Hussein, he would have Sandesh to guide him home. Last year's Sprinter's Cup winner Solomon was coming from a layoff. He was one to consider not just here but in the Sprinter's Cup in three weeks from now. And finally the speedy dancing Phoenix had travelled across to Kolkata and had won the Sprint Championship there in telling style. He had finished behind dancing prances though on almost every occasion and so despite his early speed possibly would have to find a bit to beat Dancing Francis. The jockeys mounted their charges and left the paddock as the crowd cheered at the contenders. With the horses locked and loaded, it was time to set them away. Start his orders and away they go for the Dr. S.C. Jane Sprinters Championship Grade 2 off to Irvin Dispatch from the gates and on settling down it's Brindle on the outside taking it up there from Dancing Phoenix Solomon up on the outside then comes on the far side is Super Sunshine in the center Dancing Francis gold back then there's Adam followed by Brahmachari in close attendance as they go towards the 800 meters. They stride past the 800 meters. It's Brindhill, the leader, by about a neck in front of Dancing Phoenix. Solomon is in third place. Then comes Dancing Prances as they start negotiating the curve. Being tagged on the outside by Super Sunshine. Then comes Adam hugging the rails as gold back and about length and a quarter behind Brahmachari as they straighten up for home. Little over 400 to go in this Dr. S.C. Jane Sprinters Championship Grade 2. Brynhill still calling the shots. Ahead by about three quarters from Dancing Phoenix. Then there is Dancing Prances on the outside. In the center, Solomon followed by Adam looking for an opening. Brahmachari gold back and Super Sunshine. Inside the last 300 meters they go and Dancing Prances gets the measure of Dancing Phoenix. Then there is Adam followed by Brahmachari, Solomon and uh, Brynhill going inside the last 100 meters there. And uh, Dancing Prances holding on with Adam shooting up on the outside. It could be a close call but Dancing Dancing Francis holds on to win the Dr. S. C. J. in Sprinters Championship. He is Dancing Francis. He is a very good horse. And he won last time also this race. And he lost in Sprinter Cup because the uh, track was little soft. That's why. And he best six for long horse in, the, in India at the moment. And he hoped for uh, he do it in Sprinter Cup. Again victory. Same thing. Field was little is okay, nothing outstanding in the field because the Adam also not in the form and he came close. But my horse he, uh, was very easy, he taking very easy because I'm saving for a sprinter cup also. That is why he's okay. He's good horse, he hope he win in sprinter. Dancing Prances held off a late finishing Adam, who clearly was the unlucky horse in this race. Not getting an opening in the last 300 meters when he was making his move, Adam only found his best racing legs towards the end of the race. The clash in the Sprinters Cup will be exciting, but most will admit that on the day, it was Adam who proved to be the unlucky one, while all credit must go to the very brave 
and talented dancing prances. Start his orders and away they go for the Dr. S.C. Jane Sprinters Championship Grade 2 off to Irvin Dispatch from the gates and on settling down it's Brendel on the outside taking it up there from Dancing Phoenix Solomon upon the outside then comes on the far side is Super Sunshine in the center Dancing Prances gold back then there's Adam followed by Brahmachari in close attendance as they go towards the 800 meters. They stride past the 800 meters. It's Brindhill, the leader, by about a neck in front of Dancing Phoenix. Solomon is in third place. Then comes Dancing Prances as they start negotiating the curve. Being tagged on the outside by Super Sunshine. Then comes Adam hugging the rails as gold back. And about length and a quarter behind Brahmachari as they straighten up for home. Little over 400 to go in this Dr. S.C. Jane Sprinters Championship Grade 2. Bryn Hill still calling the shots. Ahead by about three quarters from Dancing Phoenix. Then there is Dancing Prances on the outside. In the center, Solomon followed by Adam looking for an opening. Brahmachari gold back and Super Sunshine. Inside the last 300 meters they go. And Dancing Prances gets the measure of Dancing Phoenix. Then there is Adam followed by Brahmachari, Solomon and uh, Bryn Hill going inside the last 100 meters there. And it's Dancing Prances holding on with Adam shooting up on the outside. It could be a close call, but Dancing St. Francis holds on to win the Dr. S.C. Jane Sprinters Championship. Well, and the Invitation Cup weekend is on the 5th and 6th of March. We'll be there to bring you all the action. Till I see you on that episode, goodbye. Thank you for joining me. And as always, may the horse be with you.